Hello everyone, I'm Jung Chol, the professor at Computer Science of ITC and LPP in Cambodia. Today I will explain about the file sharing server using Samba. Okay, uh, this video has a two part. Part one will consist of a step three, Samba service, package installation startup, and Samba configuration, including testing. Part two have four steps. Some authentication, client tools, and mount like this. Okay, in my case, I have this kind of testing environment. Servercharge.com has IP address 192.168.25. This one will be Linux server, Samba server, and client 192.168.80.10 will be Linux Samba client. And my Windows 7 has 192.168.81. This one will be Windows Server Client. Also, this one will share some directory. Okay, step one, Samba service. Before you start Samba, you have to know the protocol SMB and CIFS. SMB, Server Message Block, this is a protocol to share this game printer. And this protocol developed by Microsoft and Intel, and this protocol normally use NetBIOS on TCP/IP. CIFS, Common Internet File System. This one is a kind of the extension version of SMB. Also, this one support file sharing for internet, and this one became Internet Standard File Protocol to support especially Windows and Unix or Linux systems. If you want to use Samba, normally Samba service has this kind of four main services. Authentication and authorization of users, file and printer sharing service between Windows and Linux system, namely solution using NetBIOS and browsing. Especially here, the second one, file and printer sharing service. So normally Samba support this one between Windows and Linux or Unix system. And number three, if you install Samba, Samba normally support this kind of packages, SMB client or file system like a CFS or SMBFS. So using SMB client, you can access the Samba servers. And using CFS or SMBFS, you can mount Samba sharing directory or printers. Okay, step two, package installation startup. Package for Samba installation need the five, Samba command, Samba client, Samba, system config Samba, Samba swap. Especially here, system config Samba is a kind of GUI tool for Samba configuration, and Samba swap is a configuration tool based on web. If you are uh, successful to install this kind of five packages, you can start the Samba server like this. Sub service, SMB, start. And after that, you can check process and port number. Samba has two process, SMBD and MBD. Normally, SMBD is responsible for sharing directory or printers. And NMBD normally is responsible for name resolutions using NetBIOS. And the Samba normally use port 137, 38, 39, and 449. 137 and 38 use normally UDP, and 139 and 444 normally use a TCP protocol. And if you want to register SMB2 level, you can use CHK config like SMB1, and you can check chk config hyphen hyphen list smb if you if you are successful to install and start the service you can test number five smb client minus localhost minus and then the samba server will show the basic information okay then uh, let's start here okay let's check package first okay in my case I don't have, okay, then let's start. Samba, Samba client, 
Samba common, Samba swat, and system config Samba. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now complete. Let's check packages. Okay, I'm successful. Then service start. Okay, and after that, process checking. Okay, and SMBD. Okay, now NMBD demo mode SMBD is successful. And after that, NAU grab 137. Okay, and 138. Okay, and after that, TCP, NAT, 139. And after that, 445. Okay, now, UDP, 137. UDP, 138. TCP, 139. TCP, 449. So I'm successful to start the service installation and checking the process and port number now. List SMB. So in my case, the number 2345 is activated. So I will change. So now only the number 3. And the number 5 is activated. Okay, now I'm successful with the end of that uh, testing. Local host minus n. So now I'm successful. So this one. And then now my worker is my later. I will change. Okay, let's uh, finish step 2. Step 3. Samba configuration. In this step, I will explain the two parts. First one, configuration tools here. There are three tools. First, etc samba slash sm.conf and system config samba, samba swap. Even if there are three, normally the hand editing is recommended. So I will use this one. System config samba, just this is a samba configuration tool using GUI and the samba swap. Also, this one is Samba configuration tool using web. And if we open number two, open the sm.com, you can find this kind of sections, global home printers. Global normally for server, generic or global settings. Homes used to grant some or all user access. Normally system use can use these sections. Printers normally define printer resources and services. And uh, there are many the options here, public, browsable, writable, printable group. Public, share can be accessed by guests. Even if someone does not have any the system account, they can access using this option. Browsable, share is also by the client. Writable, this will mean that this resource, like a directory or file, can be read or write. Printable, this resource is printed, not the disk, not hard disk, mean the directory or file. Group, all connections to the share use the specified group. So if the, some user belongs to some group, these users can use this kind of uh, resource. And number four, if we open uh, smb.com, you can find the global section. In the global section, you can configure like this. Workgroup, workgroup. So workgroup must be the Windows workgroup. 
and the net buyers will be this one server. So Windows will acknowledge or can find this this name using net buyers. And the server string you can change anything. And host allow this is a access control list. So in my case here, 100 local host, 192.168.10, 192.168.80, this network can access this Samba server. Also, Samba can support the log file, so log file will be saved here. var slash log Samba, and the percent M mean is a kind of IP or uh, NetBase name. Max log size, the max maximum log size will be the 50 kilobyte. And users home, normally this one is a section for system users. So here you can use this kind of options. Browsable, no, writable, read and write. And the valid users, valid users means the system users who have the account in this Samba server. And number six, you can make a public directory here. So it, this kind of directory can be shared by the some users. In my case here, I will use valid users at Samba. At here, at means the group. So Samba group members can use this directory. Pass, and this directory will be located slash home and Samba. And public yes, writable, printable no. List. And uh, here you can make this kind of the you mask. So if someone make a file, then they will have the permission 775. If someone make a directory, then this directory will have the permission 775 also. Okay, then let's try. Okay, etc. Okay, here assembly.com configuration file. Okay, let's first um, global section. Okay, line number 75. Here I will change work group. Okay, here Samba sub. Okay, and the uh, NetBias name in my case. So here in my case, uh, server and okay here host allow this is access list in my case okay at and ten okay. Line number 79, this is interface. If you have two or three network interfaces to support Samba, in this case, you here, you can write that. In my case, now I have only one iPad, so here I will use, just I will, uh, I don't use this line. And uh, logo file, okay, logo file. Here, so. Also this one. So logo file, the location here, and maximum. And uh, security password back end. So later I will explain about this one. So now I will activate homes and the public. Okay, here homes first. In my case, sub home directory. Uh, browser or writable and the valid users. Okay, in this case, in this case, the system users will use their home directory using Samba. And the printable. Okay, and the public. Okay, here this one I will use. In my case, uh, public is a sharing directory name. In my case, I will change Samba. And uh, here, server public stuff. And the uh, pass will be the home slash Samba. Public yes, writable yes, printable yes. 
and uh, this one I will use valid users and this one will be samba okay samba okay so valid users so valid users mean that these group members can access this directory okay then service smb restart okay here now let's go home here i had this user and this one permission like this 775 okay one more thing so now in my case Linux and the Tland belong to this group number Samba. So Linux and the Tland can access to Samba directory here, but the other members cannot access. Okay, then the one more thing. Here you can find this file. So here you have to register SMB password. Uh, Linux, okay. Linux, Linux, okay. And uh, one more user, TLAN. Okay, for the testing, I will uh, add one more user. In my case, I will. Okay, which one? Uh, okay, ITC. So in this case, Linux and the Tyrant can access to the power, the Samba directory, but ITC cannot. Okay, then let's test. Okay, this is a kind of client system. So here we can, I can test SMB client server username first let's test linux okay in this case i can use work group and uh, access like this and uh, one more testing smb client username tland okay just a moment Okay, here I can access also this one, but uh, Linux ITC. So in this case, you can see like this, but uh, Samba, okay, let's test like this. Client, SMB client, server, and uh, directory name Samba. Uh, username itc so in this case cannot okay then but linux okay in this case linux user can access this public directory samba so here okay let's test etc password Okay, the, uh, in my case, I put etc password using the, this name. Okay, let's check. In my case, uh, so here, Samba. So now can you find this one? This one by Linux users. Uh, okay, here, uh, let's finish part one and the part two. In the part two, I will explain about the um, authentication and the password mount like this. Thank you for watching this video and see you part two.